competing in an operational shooting test. British Army instructors practicing what they preach. Controlling their heart rate, the lessons they'll pass on to recruits in their shooting teams have been inspired by the Gurkhas. Half the Gurkha training team are all in the best 100 shots. I was watching how the Gurkhas were delivering their shooting uh, development and marksmanship and I noticed that not only do they win a lot of the shooting competitions, at that basic level they were teaching them in a slightly different way how they were squeezing the trigger, some of the positions that they were taking to create a stable base. Across all the army teams, I came within the top 30. Uh, even uh, we had only uh, just a few weeks of the training. Then that, that inspired all the training team to jo join us and learn about our skills and techniques uh, so that they can pass down to their trainees. We started a shooting team with the idea of trying to create a marksmanship kind of cadre within our training teams. Setting gold standards with recruits means tougher training beyond the standard tests. One of the shoots they've got to continually run down the range. We shorten the size of the targets at actually potentially further distances. A lot of events are structured to prevent to create that stress level. When your heart rate's elevated and your, your breath is exaggerated, how can you bring yourself down to actually still be able to get that sight picture and that trigger squeeze for you to actually drop the target at the other end? There's a lot more up and holds. It won't drop if you've hit the target. You've got to keep uh, talking to yourself that you, you've hit the target, you haven't missed the targets, you know what you, you know what you need to do. There's no prep. So they literally, they've got to do their prep in their own time. We don't give them the information. They've got to react to the targets and know the shoots as well. So out the comfort zone. It's really important this, because the behaviours they learn when they first start will then feed through the rest of their career. The results have been quite revolutionary. The annual combat marksmanship test. For my first uh, training team that we had, 10 passes, first time pass, one or two of them getting marksmanship which is a very high standard. Since joining the shooting team, my last training team, we had 98% uh, first time pass and 17 marksmanship. As the army looks for more recruits, these marksmanship lessons are bridging one of the largest gaps between the civilian and the soldier. Tom Sables, Forces News, Purbright. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.